All right, sportagesfootball.com here with head coach Mark Whittemore, the Buholtz Bobcats, number 23 ranked team in the state, in our Florida top 25. Big win tonight, Coach, 34-7, uh, 34-3, I should say, over your city rival, Gainesville. Uh, coach, let, let, let's start off. I mean, the, fir the first drive of the game, it, it came down to a fourth down play, and that fourth down conversion set up the touchdown to, 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 get, to get on the board early. I mean, I mean, Talk about that, you know, talk about how the tables could have been turned on y'all yeah. at that point on that particular play. Yeah, it was big. Uh, you know, you take a little chance there, uh, but uh, we felt like we had a little momentum. Uh, you know, we tried to punch it in uh, after a offsides on the first uh, PAT and didn't get it, which... Uh, that you know, make you nervous a little bit? It does, because you never want to leave points on the field. Uh, so, you know, sometimes you make decisions that uh, don't end up by, you know, sometimes, you, you, you know, you go look back and you lose by a point. So, anyways, the, the, the point is, though, we were able to jump on them early. Uh, and then, you know, obviously throughout the second quarter, it was very difficult. But by the, uh, by the third quarter, things turned for us. I mean, I, I guess you, if you look at everything, you know, you, 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 look, at the, you look at the second quarter and it was basically it was no scoring. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a 6-3, a pretty much a deadlock at a half, you know. I mean, both both, both y'all and GHS was pretty much playing head-to-head, -head, you know. Y'all yeah. were battling it. What, what, did you tell the, what did you tell the boys at, at well, half? Well, I've, I've been at this game for 25 years now. This particular And this matchup. was the 49th meeting overall. And this is the 49th meeting overall. The 25th one maybe a little bit more for me if you go back to my high school years. But the point is... This game is always like that. There's always a point in time when, every, when, when the fight is on and neither side can gain the advantage. Uh, it's a little frustrating, but in this game, the rivalry game, it's a little normal, actually. So I expected it and just told the kids, hang in there. We're going to keep, you know, we're going to keep persevering. Okay, your son Creed did a lot of things on the ground tonight, you know, took, took, took things into his own hands, but... You also got Quan Lee involved, uh, Marius Hell. He got involved, and I think, you know, you, as you were telling some other people, he was coming out of the shell tonight with him. No, no doubt. Very excited about him. He showed a great burst, great speed, great tenacity, uh, 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 a lot of balance tonight. So very excited about that piece of the puzzle moving moving into the you know last four games. I mean, and, and let's talk about special teams because special teams was huge tonight in this game. Not only with the kicking game, you know, you know, a lot, a lot of drives stood for for, for GHS starting on the twenty instead of them returning the ball. The punts were de definitely good. Maybe a, maybe one miscue on a punt, you know, or it was you know in, in that situation. But for us, I, but I think that but I think the biggest thing for y'all was the two punt return touchdowns tonight. No. That was huge. Well, and, and I, I will say, Josh, it was uh, you know we shanked the first punt of the night. And that was only like it was. It was like about the only ten, about ten, fifteen yeah, yards. They at got most. three points out of it, I do believe. Wanna, Maybe. Let me, let me, I'm looking at my. I'm not chart. sure if they actually got three points out of that game. I mean, Anyways, we were able to get points out of their punt game, and although we we messed up the first punt, uh, we were able from there on out we were able to punt pretty handy. We I think we averaged thirty four to thirty five yards a punt. So. You know that's good. That, that that that's a good average for a, a defensive tackle who's punting. I mean, and, and talk about your punter because you know, I mean, you know, that's you know, for, for a defensive tackle punting, that's a uh, that's definitely not a, a heard of. Yeah. Usually, 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 it's the kids that are playing soccer that are punting out there or doing that's the right. kicking the field goal. So that's talk right. about it. Talk. Yeah, I mean, he's just a he's just an athletic kid. He shoots threes on the basketball Colson team. North, Colson said. North, and just just does a great job. Love the kid. I mean, you know, I mean, Quan, Quan had, it was, I don't want to say it was like 54 yards back on that, that, that punt return. I mean, for Quan Lee, you know, he, you know, I mean, you know, it was the Quan, and, Quan show last year. You know, you only got the one part of the Quan back after, you know, what, I mean, what is it about Quan Lee and what he does? Eh, he's just a, he's just a fantastic athlete, pure and simple. And when you have one of those, you just sit back and enjoy and uh, he's able to bring that sort of excitement to the football game. I mean, and, 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 and with all that, next four games, Childs, Bulls, Forrest, Bartram Trail to round out the season. And those two, Childs and Forrest are your two district games. And, uh, right. you know, and, 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 and Childs, Childs, is not, Childs can sneak up on some people. Don't, oh, don't they? Right. I mean, you cannot discount them out. Oh, we're, we're not, believe me. Childs is, uh, Childs is a good football club. Uh, they have been for years. 
and they're able to beat. A and they lot got a vet, they got a veteran coach in this state, yes, Kevin Pettis. Did. Yes, and so we're we're in no no uh, no way, shape, or form are we taking them lightly. I mean and that, and then of course Bulls. And if we remind people bowl, that Bulls game will not be in Gainesville at all, it will be in Stark that's at right. Bradford High School that's at right. the neutral site. That's right. So I mean that's the next two weeks, and then you know when you, I mean at this particular point you you look at it. Well, I guess I guess I guess I guess the final thing I should ask: What are your thoughts so far with the RPI rankings of, of, in three weeks of RPI rankings? I mean, are, are you are you satisfied, or you know where, yeah. where y'all are standing at? Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, I think uh, before tonight, I think it was very accurate. Uh, I think after tonight, you know, uh, and and then you know, see how our performance is the next uh, two or three games, and we'll see if uh, see if we're a contender or pretender. And of course, uh, you know, and you did mention one other thing, and you know. Y'all, y'all, y'all held y'all GHS to three. You know, you held Cardinal Gibbons several weeks ago to 16 points, and Cardinal Gibbons has been that's, that's gotten more scored on than that since that game. We're playing really good defense right now, and uh, hopefully you're not hitting the pick just yet. We won't. So, well, Coach Whittemore, appreciate it. You know, and uh, best of luck next week against Charles. Appreciate you, Josh. Thank you.